Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Six runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. 2 0. Oh. Well, his last time out, guys were just flailing away at that slider, but tonight, completely different story. I think their approach coming to the plate tonight was to lay off that pitch until he shows he can throw it for a strike. Now the 2 0. Fouled away. Now the 2 1 is looked at off the plate for a ball. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. And he lays off ball there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Now batter. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And he'll signal for the bullpen. That's going to be it for Jeff Samarja. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Catfish Hunter answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Gene Segura will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. First pitch on its way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. From a hitter's perspective you knocked a donut off your bat knowing two things. This pitcher is out on the mound looking for a strikeout or a double play. So you better set your sights at least belt high. Line toward center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets through, but eventually does get the third base. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. The 1 0 delivery. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's through into left, a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 7 2 ball game. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down the zone right there below the knee. Offensive player was all over. And that'll bring in DH extraordinaire Edgar Martinez. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. Here's the first pitch to him. And a neck high fastball that time. Amazing he was able to lay off in this situation. Your eyes light up when you get something above the belt, especially with a man on third base. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled off. Hunter, a right hander who stands in even six feet, is currently second in the league among relievers in all star fan voting. 
Yeah, and he's been having an excellent season to date, making a push towards that All-Star game. Hey, fans, get out there and vote. This guy sits in second place, but I'm sure he'd like to be named starter. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. The 2-2 two -two is taken. Ball three. Two pitch. A swing and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. I can tell you from experience, bases loaded, nobody out, and you get an infield pop up, that feels just as good as a strikeout. And now he's just a double play ball away from getting out of this mess. Bases are loaded here with one away, and here comes Junior. From the stretch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Zanino on third. Segura on second. Gamble is over at first with one away. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? This is a great spot to be in as a pitcher. You have two strikes. You can bury one for a potential strikeout. And at worst, keep the ball down in the zone. You might be able to turn one pitch into an ending, ending oh. double play. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. The one-two. Still one and two. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. And he fouls this one off. And Junior oh. lays off that one, and the count's back even at two and two. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long scrambling pitch after pitch making this guy work out on the mound. The 2 2 it's the top of the zone he struck him out looking runner on first and a double play situation so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone so I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Here's Nelson Cruz now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Catfish comes set. Here's the 0-1. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Uh, maybe not as this stays up in the air long enough to be hauled in out there. False alarm and that ends the inning. Mariners forced to settle for one. We played four full. The Mariners lead it 7-2. Here's Juana Cespedes. He'll start off the fifth in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. No balls in one strike. Down the third base line. There is Seeger. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batter. Second baseman. 
Joe now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Joe Morgan no hits to this point first delivery to him on the way ah, and he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around the shoe tops Chopped weakly to the left. Seeger has to hurry. Throw gets him. Two down. The batter, number 10. Shortstop, Jen Lowry. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in the shortstop, Jed Lowry. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Looks at a two-seamer right down the middle. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Up around the face. I know you're standing on the mound and you got two quick outs right here, but you have to respect the fact that this lineup can hit you and hit you in a hurry. Number two hole batter up at the plate, he has a chance to get on and get the big boys up. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Lowry will take the turn and head for second. And he is in the second with a two out double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Standing in now, Willie McCovey. Yes, he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Just don't understand the game plan right here. Walking up to home plate, you had to think you could potentially be pitched around. But now you find yourself down 0-2, and it's a battle. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0-2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Waiting on it is Henniger. And the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as it'll be Robbie Cano settling in to start out the inning. First pitch on its way. A fastball that finds the outside corner. Played an in. It's a ball and a strike. Looks like a right hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. The 1 1 home. Taken strike two. Pop 
him up. Lowry into shallow left. 